We got cheese on the spoon in the building. Yeah, yeah. Say what? Wow. Straight layups from here. I told y'all about uh -huh. But WNBA play and the NBA play is significantly different. Does it have to do with direct sales, jerseys, everything, TV time, all that stuff? Because they play a shorter season too, so they obviously can't gross the kind of numbers that the NBA, you know, makes. Absolutely. What most people don't know this that every jersey that's sold, we don't get any of that. We don't profit from that at all. Not a dime. Hell no. Uh, somebody don't get <laughs> shot. That's a lot of money with my money <laughs> like that. Your mom Not a dime. Really? That doesn't but, that, but, the, but the guys get a piece. I'm understanding. They get a percentage. That's right. Well, yeah. see, when we sign, all our likeness, our voice, our, our who we yeah. are. They sign yeah. Hey, G Money, they sign the 360 deals and shit. <laughs> you know, the record business, the 360 deals, like the worst deal you can get. But people <laughs> sign it because they want to be in. What's up, Sherry? Hey, we got the CE hey, Coco from Dykeman in the building. Dykeman repping all day. Whoa. So you played in there. You went to the playoffs, had a lot of fun, and now you're a coach, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so how different is it from being in the action? You know, because some great players can't be coaches, like Michael Jordan. You know, some of them is just like, uh. You have to really transition yourself. You know, as a player, you start to learn the game or understand why coaches do what they do. And that's just the mind of wanting to be a coach later on. Right. It's, it's different. It is a little bit different because now you're not putting it into action yourself. Right. You're helping others to learn how to put it in action. You'd be like, listen, bitch, I Get said go done. left. Get it done. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you, you ever had a player break down crying on you? Look, check us out if you want to see a WNBA legend. Yeah. I mean, iconic is the shot. They play it any time they go into the playoffs. Right about now, they are in the playoffs. So you're going to see the shot. WNBA. What game was that? Two? Because y'all was, if y'all lost that game, that was it. Two. She hit the shot half court. That saved us, and that solidified you, in my mind, as, you know, one of the, not only Liberty greats, but all-time great WNBA players. Do you feel like that? Like, like... I mean, you know, it's kind of weird to be like, yeah, I'm the shit, but <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you're a pretty big deal when it comes to, you know, the circles of women basketball. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? I like to give props when props is I appreciate it. I wanted to be something special playing this game because I'm from a place of 882 people. I really? had to find a way out. Everybody know everybody. Everybody. Yeah. everybody. I had to find yeah. a way out. You know, you got to try to be an example for those kids who think they can't get out of there. Right. And it, it's all possible. And that's all I wanted to be, just an impactful person. Right. Not an impactful player, but an impactful person in the lives of other people. I wanted to live my life in that way. Right. Uh, and for that shot to go in, and it was almost like then, then everybody knew who I was. Everybody knew who you was. It was crazy. Jersey <laughs> sales go up, even though you couldn't eat off of that. <laughs> couldn't eat off that, but it's all good. So nowadays, uh, what are you doing? You doing any like? Uh, I, we know you coaching, but then you know, besides that, any. You know, uh, community stuff that we should know about or follow along with. Now, I've been trying to get you to show my my seven year old a couple moves. She gonna be six foot something, so I might as well, start you know, start her early. God damn, get some scout, get some college money or something. You know, I've been back in New York. I've been gone for six years in Louisiana, mm -hmm. uh, coaching as you said. But being back in in New York, it gives me an opportunity to venture out doing other things that I like to do. Uh, being a collegiate coach kind of puts you in a box, right. so you can't really help people like you want to help and do things for kids like you want to do, especially camps. I, I love camps. I love going out teaching, making it a satellite camp. Uh, Teresa Teaspoon, Weatherspoon had an awesome time here with Steph Lover and her program. Just enjoyed the night. Great night of music, great night conversating, and now we're just looking forward to just being together as one, getting it all done. Team Steph. So we got Marie uh, D in the house, yo. She brought her artist. Yeah, well, yeah. She's working with right now. QQ! QQ yeah, in the building! What's going on? Uh, wow. Man, listen, you as skinny as a motherfucker. Like, Tell me how you hanging out. I'm kind of stuff. That's kind of sexy, though, in a Jamaican man, though. I'm having a skinny Jamaican man than the big, burly Jamaican man scared the shit out of me, so. Um, so that's. <laughs> 
So that's a good thing, QQ. Thank and you. you're from Jamaica, right? We were just yeah. talking, and what part? Um, kids from Jamaica. Every fucking reggae artist is from King. It must be no. tough and tight no, 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 no. King sticks. No, no, no. Y'all right. niggas be like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. Give me that tune. Kingston you know, is like spot. Nashville, right? When you go to Nashville to make it big in country, yeah. motherfucker, you go to Kingston to make it big. So, yep. so like, I, um, I think I had a conversation with Sean Paul. What is it about the tunes that you guys share? The blends, the records. I don't, I don't get that. Like I hear, like they make a tune and they give it to several reggae artists, and whoever oh. comes up with the best tune keep, yeah. keeps the beat. What, what? No. What it is? We we have a thing called a juggling. So basically, okay. we have like ten different artists, but on the same beat. And that's what I'm talking you about. I mean? Okay. And it's like you're just all fighting for the number one spot, right? Yeah. So it's anytime not like it's underhand, I give it to six different artists to see who pop it off. There's none of that. No, anytime an artist gets a beat in Jamaica, the first thing he asks the producer, single or juggling. Oh! He wants to know. Oh. Did you know that, Marie? I did, did not, not know that. that. I'm learning new <laughs> shit. Not, okay! <laughs> yeah, I so feel like I know, know what I'm talking about sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You want to know if it's exclusive or you want to oh. the beat. Well, Do you still have to pay for it for 20 people on the beat to be on the beat? Nah. It's no big again. No beat. <laughs> <laughs> no way. We agreed to something, then we smoke, and then you forgot, and then I skipped with the beat. <laughs> That's the end of that. In in Kingston, Jamaica, because it is so many artists. How do you rise, you know, above the fray? Like be different. Yeah. Simple. You just can't do what everybody's doing. You know, you have to find something that nobody's doing and just use it to your best advantage. What's your lane? Are you a traditional reggae yeah. artist? Are you dance hall or are you, you know, like, I guess Sean Paul is kind of like pop, reggae. I, I hate to limit myself kinda. to be honest, you know what I mean? Mm. I'm, I'm all around it, you know? I, I love every type of music and I embrace all of it, you know? This minute I'll just be in my dance hall frenzy and next time I'm in my old school reggae frenzy. Next time I'm in the pop thing and next time I'm in Africa. Yeah. I'll be everywhere. <laughs> okay, well let's hear, let's hear some of this everywhere from QQ. <laughs> I like that. Real simple, real easy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Not too hard to remember. Q Q. But you are going to remember his name. Hey yo, you don't know this is your boy QQ on the Steph Lover program, SLP, you don't know. DTF Radio, we're there in the building, yo. The experience was crazy, the vibes was nice. Hold it down, I mean, I tell you, Marie go hard. You need turn up. QQ in the building. Every girl I wanna do this. Whoa.